Todd Graham here from New South Wales Farmers. Today I'm going to be talking about water-based nurseries. The two we're going to be talking about today are the mesh inserts or the socks and the flopsies. When I get oysters straight from a hatchery at the one to two mil size, I bring them in, I put them in this, and this is what I use to nursery my, my hatchery stock direct from hatcheries. With the mesh inserts, they look like this. There's a couple of different types of brands, but they basically all are the same. They have different size mesh that you can get. These are very simple to use. So you just open them up, you put your oysters inside, close them back up, and then you attach them to your basket. Do a strap on that side, strap on that side, holds them up, holds them nice in the basket, lock it up. And hopefully you can see they sit very nicely in the middle of the basket. So with maintenance with the, the socks or the mesh inserts, the big thing is to bring them in weekly. You don't want to leave these out more than a week because they foul up very easily. If they get too foul, the oysters stop growing. As soon as they're big enough, take them out, move them on to your cylinders. The quicker you get them out of here, the better the oyster is. So it's, it's very similar to doing an upweller or a downweller, but you're doing it out on the river. So for the second on water nursery system we're going to talk about, it's called a flopsy. Unfortunately, we don't have one here today, but they're very similar to the upwellers. The main reason you'd be looking at using a flopsy is if you don't have a big enough land base. So if you haven't got room on your land base lease, you can look at a flopsy and you'll get the same results as an upweller. The main difference is, is how the water enters the system. Instead of getting pumped in through, through a pump there, the water actually gets sucked out through the channel here and that, that's the main difference other than the fact that it's on a floating system out on the water. 